hi ladies welcome or welcome back to the feminine universe i am so happy to have you here we previously talked about how to always look pretty and polished but today i thought it would be fun to talk about how to dress more feminine how to put together looks and outfits that just ooze femininity some people still underestimate the power of clothing but let me tell you feminine clothing can really put you in a mood and have you feeling like that girl whether it's that girly girl that sensual woman that boss babe that elegant queen and everything in between it just puts you in the headspace to show up as your most feminine self so whether you already dress super feminine and want to see if you're checking all the boxes or want to learn some new tips whether you're not dressing your most feminine currently but you know you want to or even if you're more of a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl who just wants to have a little guide for the random days or events when you want to look a little extra feminine i think there will be something in here for you all so let's get started I'd say tip number one to dress more feminine is to understand the spectrum. In order for this to be successful, we have to understand and acknowledge that there is clothing traditionally associated with women and there is clothing traditionally associated with men. That way we can quickly and easily understand that the further away from the masculine side of the spectrum an item is, the more feminine it is. So tip number one, understand the spectrum. Tip number two would be to incorporate dresses and skirts. Once we understand the spectrum, we'll instantly know that the number one way to dress more feminine is to wear more dresses and skirts. Dresses and skirts are pretty much the only clothing items that are unique to women, at least in the US and most Western countries. And you can incorporate this tip in whatever capacity you're comfortable with, because while there are of course glamorous dresses for events and nights out, there are also corporate dresses and skirts that are perfect for the office and there are also very pretty casual dresses think about the summer dresses we can't wait to slip into once it gets warm and that we love to go out in or run errands in and honestly even in the winter i love a good sweater dress so whatever the event or occasion there's usually a way to incorporate a dress or a skirt and i hope we can be reasonable when we're interpreting these tips if you're going hiking zip lining or you're in antarctica or something then a dress is probably not the best idea okay tip number three would be to find and wear clothing with a flattering fit feminine clothing tends to be more fitted think women's suit versus men's suit or women's jeans versus men's jeans anything that is cut a little closer to the body will usually have a more feminine effect but remember there's a difference between fitted and tight Something fitted will sit close to your body in a flattering way where you can still move. Anything that makes it look like you are struggling to breathe or that something will pop out and be exposed if you make one wrong move might be a little too tight. And even though we're talking about fitted clothing, feminine clothing does not have to equal sexy clothing. Though sexy feminine is absolutely one type of feminine style, there is also romantic feminine style think ruffles a lines and flowy fabric there's also the more elegant or more preppy feminine style think coco chanel style or ralph lauren chic let me know if you would actually want to see a video breaking down the different types of feminine style but for now i just wanted to make the point that feminine clothing doesn't instantly have to mean bodycon and while we're on this i also want to point out that there are also perfectly modest looks that still ooze femininity last Lastly, when it comes to fit, we also can't forget about our body types. When choosing the right fit, we should always consider our shape. For example, if you have a fuller bust or are just generally heavier on top, you might want an A-line bottom to help balance you out. If you are smaller on top and are more pear-shaped, you might want to wear lighter colors on top and focus detailing like bows and ruffles on top as well. But however you do it, make sure to find a flattering fit. Tip number four is to pay attention to 
necklines. Necklines are one of my favorite little cheat codes for a feminine look. The main feminine cuts or lines you want to look for are a v-neck, a high neck, which is sometimes called a mock neck, a scoop neck, an asymmetric cut where there's only one strap or one sleeve on one side. And of course, we want to add in that stunning off the shoulder cut. Wearing any of these necklines and cuts can really take the most basic casual look a couple of levels up instantly. So be mindful of your neckline when you're aiming to dress more feminine. Tip number five is to lean into feminine colors and textures. Of course, the first color that comes to mind is pink. Whether you like a bright, girly bubblegum pink or a more refined blush pink, it's probably the girliest color on the planet. Let's not forget about pastels either. It's like they took most colors and then softened them into their most feminine hue. Think lavender, pale yellow, pale blue, pale pink, a nice sherbet orange, and even a soft seafoam green. Also within the color category, I'd say to play around with prints. Floral prints, whether small or large, are hands down super feminine. Animal prints are also very womanly. I love an all black outfit with a leopard print pump. Shoes are a great way to dip your toe into animal prints if you're new to them. If you are super glam, think about an animal print dress. If you're somewhere in the middle, try an animal print blouse or skirt. And right next to color, I'll talk about texture. I think the texture and specific materials get overlooked a lot in our modern culture. I feel like we see them a lot less, so I think that definitely helps them pop out even more as extremely feminine. I'll put up pictures of some of these textures as I mention them. I'm referring to materials like silk and satin and velvet and lace, chiffon, and even a nice sheer material in the right place. Doesn't looking at these materials just make you want to reach out and touch them? Exactly. So lean into feminine colors and feminine textures and materials. Tip six is to incorporate more detailing in your clothing. We just went over colors and textures, but this tip is about going for things like ruffles and bows and draping and ruching and pleats and keyholes. Incorporating detailing is probably something I'd consider another cheat code area that allows you to make any item in any color more feminine. You have to wear a black top, look for a blouse that has some draping, want to maybe camouflage a bit of a belly, some ruching could be your best friend. Want to take something very androgynous looking and amp it up a bit? Ruffles and bows will turn the whole thing around. Want to be a little sensual but still very tasteful? A well-placed keyhole is the key. So don't forget about detailing. Tip number seven is to lean towards feminine shoes. When we talked about how to always look pretty and polished, we mentioned always looking for ways to give your shoes a lift, whether with a low heel or a high one. And I still think that's one of the best ways to feminize your look. Remember the spectrum. Heels are all the way on the feminine side. Since basically every masculine shoe is flat, a shoe with a heel is the furthest thing from that. But of course, if you can't wear any kind of heel at all for medical reasons, Reasons or personal reasons, if you'll be doing a lot of walking, or if you just hate heels, the next best thing is a very feminine flat shoe. Rather than going straight for sneakers or loafers or something like a lace-up Oxford, opt for a pointed toe flat or a flat with a print or an ankle strap. Maybe a flat espadrille in the warm weather. However you do it, just be mindful of leaning towards feminine shoes. The eighth and last tip I will suggest for today is accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. I'll run through four major accessory categories that we should pay special attention to. The first is jewelry. Dainty jewelry is one of my favorite ways to make an outfit feel insanely more feminine. From dainty rings to a dainty anklet to a dainty necklace, it just does something for a look. You can also stack a few necklaces for a more glamorous 
glamorous or more modern vibe. Statement jewelry pieces can also work when everything else is kept a little more simple. Another great accessory is a handbag. Carrying a handbag adds a feminine touch because again, it's on the feminine side of the spectrum as only women typically carry them. You can use your handbag to dress up a more casual outfit or add flair to a more serious look. You can also match your handbag to your shoes to make an outfit more cohesive and pulled together. Another area and accessories that I think many of us ladies overlook is hair accessories. Oh my goodness, this is a newer one for me and I'm loving it. Satin scrunchies or hair ties make my ponytails and buns look so much more feminine and intentional. A nice headband can also really do something. Have you ever thought about a satin headband or a pearl headband? Especially on days when your outfit is otherwise very plain or simple. You can also tie or clip a bow into your hair in so many different placements depending on the vibe you want to go for. So if you haven't already, play around a little bit with hair accessories. And lastly in the accessory department is fragrance. Like I always say, I love fragrance and I think this is the cherry on top of every look. Now in regards to being more feminine with it, we have to remember that there are lovely perfumes that smell amazing but are more unisex fragrances in the sense that they don't immediately make you think girly or womanly while there are others that just make you think this is all woman right here and they evoke the sweetness or sensuality or mystery of a woman. The main perfume categories that provide this are floral fragrances, your rose, your jasmine, your peony, lily, and so on. Fruity fragrances like black currant, berries, pineapple, and others. Or lastly, gourmands, which have a more edible, dessert-like vibe to them. Think vanilla, caramel, chocolate, marshmallow, honey, cotton candy. You get the picture. Those were eight of my favorite tips for any woman that wants to dress in a more feminine way. I would love to know what your favorite tip was or maybe something you do to look your most feminine that wasn't mentioned here. And let me know if you want to see a video on the different types of feminine styles. Until next time ladies, stay feminine, stay focused, and have fun.